Shadows settle on the place that you left Our minds are troubled by the emptiness Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time From the perfect start to the finish line if you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs We're setting fire to our insides for fun Collecting names of the lovers that went wrong the lovers that went wrong And you caused it We are the reckless, we are the wild Good morning. So it's around 7.10. I have actually an alarm for 7.10, but I usually wake up earlier than that. I have been enjoying sleeping and waking up, actually. Um, it's one of the best things that I like when my schedule is just my schedule. 
that I can wake up when I like. Um, so I usually wake up and sometimes I'll do either some movement, either walking, yoga. I've also started liking Pilates because I learned about the history of it. I liked it more because I always felt Pilates a bit stiff. But I've been feeling like, actually, once I heard more about the history of it and the logic behind it, I thought that's interesting because I'm always looking for ways to like do strength training in new ways. I even thought about calisthenics. Is that how you say it? Okay, so usually after I work out, I then decide where I'm going to work for the day. Um, I sometimes go to the library. We have a really beautiful library here. Or I go to, and sometimes in the library you can also book a little cubicle to work in. Or I go to uh, various cafes. I like rotate. I don't like to go to the same one all the time and i recently found one that is so pretty it's cute it's like you get to go through the forest to get there <laughs> i really love that um and i might go there the only thing with them is that they don't have enough plugs so i have to make sure everything is like fully charged before the weather's nice in the evening i could actually do a bit of work outside i didn't think about that <laughs> Also because it's been cold, it's not like the most inviting feeling to be out there and I'm staying in the cold. She was a queen She had a house She was a fighter She was a queen Had a good dude Bought me So we're just going to talk a bit. Um, the process of making your dreams come true is not always linear. The process of creating a life that feels organic and authentic to, your, to yourself doesn't always feel like it's a straight on. I was thinking a lot about how sometimes I like to watch remodeling videos of things um, particularly like old houses and sometimes it's so nice to get to the end and you just have those few seconds of the before and after um, and sometimes it feels like that in life that you just wish that you could just get to the after <laughs> you know have a vision and then you do that little thing where everything is fast forwarded and then bam you are in the future. You are in your dream life, right? I think I also have to be fair and say that I don't particularly think that where I am isn't necessarily dream life worthy. I mean, it's a Thursday and I get to do this today. 
Am I rolling in money? Absolutely not. But do I have all I need to keep building and doing the things I want to do? Yes. <laughs> do I have my mental stability? Mostly yes. I had a little bit of a cry session yesterday. Um, but that's also part of it. It's rare I'm going to feel like crying and think, great moment to also film what part of the journey is. I'm in a good part of the part of pursuing that. And maybe you wonder, like, May, what does that look like? Like, what would that look like when you get it? Like, how? And I think I know more about how it would feel like. And it would feel like a lot of different things. I think it's easier, maybe, to talk about or to imagine in terms of what it would feel like, because I'm a very feely person. Um, it feels like a Thursday on vacation in a sunny day. It feels like waking up with no alarms, unless there's something specific I have to do. It doesn't feel like I need to wake up every day to the sound of an electronic thing telling me it's time to go and earn my right to exist. It feels like eating my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner with ease, without a rush. I think when I was young, I thought I wanted to like be my own boss. No, I thought I wanted to be a boss, but that's only because I wanted to be in charge of my own vision of the things I wanted to create. And then as I got older, I realized I don't actually want to be in charge of people like after working in big companies, you recognize how hard that is and how draining. And I just want to be in charge of my own life, you know, like literally, like I just, and I am, I am in charge of my own life. But there is this thing called money that we also have to get like a means to, to allow us that freedom. But you don't need a lot of money. I don't think we need a lot of money. I think for my specific life, you know, I'm not, I'm bougie about certain things, but I'm not overall bougie. I don't care about the newest electronics. I don't care about fancy cars. I don't care about fancy label clothing. I don't care about fancy places to be. But I do want to be in beautiful spaces. And that doesn't necessarily always have to be the most expensive, the most uh, luxurious. But I do want to live in a space of of great ease and comfort. And I'm more attracted to things that also feel like aesthetically they're pleasing to me, but it's not the things that are most expensive. Like for example, this is aesthetically pleasing to me. I love whatever's happening here. I love it. <laughs> um, so I know that the tag on my dream is not expensive. And I try my best to live in a way that doesn't hike up the price, you know, like even like taking care of myself mentally and physically. That's also another way I'm trying to make sure the cost are low, you know, a healthy man, mind and a healthy body um, is cheaper than being mentally sick and physically sick. So it's like that holistic package that by taking care of myself, it's the best way I can create a life that cares for me. <laughs> um, I also want to document the in-betweens you know the in-betweens like when you're still creating when you are figuring it out when you are aware where you want to go but there's fog in between right how that that feels like because that can be freaking scary that can be intimidating exhausting challenging stressful that's why you have to know what's on the other side and it has to be bright enough that even through the fog you can kind of see it for yourself you know I was watching this random youtube channel this lesbian couple the video just sets up with them waking up and the girl is like let's go to this specific place and they spontaneously book a trip 
I've never in my life booked a spontaneous trip, you know? I've never, have I? Not out of the country, ever. Um, and I saw that and I was like, I mean, I don't want a yacht because they did other stuff. They like, they went on yachts. They were like in this crazy apartment when they went abroad. And all of those, I'm not like, Mm, I want that. Not that I think there's particularly anything wrong with that per se. That's just not the dream I have. But I like the freedom. I like the fact that you would have enough financial abundance that you can spontaneously book a trip to another country with your loved ones. And I would love to go back home to Uganda and do projects. I would love to build a home there as well um, and have like a bicontinental experience, you know, a home back home and a home wherever else me and my partner decide to settle down as well. I would love to have all of those things and I would love to decide what happens with my life day to day, more or less. But then I also know that with great freedom comes great responsibility. And it's navigating that responsibility that sometimes can get a lot. But it's not impossible because you know the why, you know. I'm in process and my next step is clear. What I need to do to get there is clear. But I'm not in control of the results. <laughs> and that's scary. But we're doing it. I also was thinking about, this is like just a side note. Um, I was thinking about my community here on, I don't know how I'm feeling about Instagram. Like I, I go in and out basically. Like I used to love that platform. But I know I like YouTube still. Like YouTube hasn't, I've never had a weird feeling with YouTube. Um, even as a content creator, I think, I don't know, I feel like it, it has a good flow. It's not too crazy. It's not, it doesn't do a lot of crazy things. That, unless you're there just for the focus of I want to grow, 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 then yes, maybe. But I just want to share my stuff and whoever connects to it, who wants to join my little community, that for me usually is enough. And I don't have a huge need to be much bigger I don't have a huge need for that I'm enjoying the slow small little corner of the world that I I, I occupy digitally I was just thinking that yeah like because I'm an introvert I don't be out on people's pages or Instagram commenting and sometimes whenever I watch videos of other people that I like to watch, um, especially people who are really good at marketing themselves and they're like, subscribe or comment. At some point I was like, I should become better at that and, and say that. I think I also attract people who are like me. I like to just watch, enjoy. It's rare I like, comment or do any of those things. I do subscribe if I like a channel. Um, but it takes us a lot for me to feel like I won't go looking for you. I need you to pop up. I feel like my priorities here is not to remind people to share, comment, and subscribe. Whenever you do comment, I make an effort to respond as best as I can. Um, even if it's a little thank you for your sweet comment. And that does mean a lot to me, especially because I feel like the people who do write, write really cute, sweet stuff. But I was thinking about that, and I was thinking that even being here, I get to decide how I'm here on this planet, on this platform as well. And I just want people to connect and enjoy what I share. I don't necessarily need them to do more than that. You know, when you do, it means something to me. It touches me, especially if it's sincere. But I also know that people know when to subscribe, when to like, when to comment I was just thinking about that like how you grow your community as somebody who's introverted who also is not very it's not very outgoing and not very come see my stuff come subscribe to my stuff come be a part of my stuff but more like if you if you like what I do I like that you like it and that's enough I think but I do appreciate everybody has the energy and the desire to comment and all the people who like all the people who subscribe and i think it's sweet that you saw my videos and you're like yeah i vibe with that i think that's sweet <laughs> that's cute anyway guys this is just me here at this time of life
in the in between of where I want to go and preparing to get there and working towards that. And I look forward to share when I'm on the other side. But for so far, the process of that just looks like applying the things I've learned over the years, um, practicing ways that I create routines for my weeks that feel true to me. I've figured out a system where I like to work three days proper, three days proper, have a day off for creative creation today, like maybe um, make videos, make art, even though I'm doing more art actually recently because I have now like an easier way to create digital art with my iPad. But then I have one day of that, like it's my week weekend. <laughs> and then I have one day of work again. Sometimes I also work one day of the weekend, just the mornings to the afternoon, and then the Sundays is off, and then I repeat. And that feels good so far, like to separate the days. And I, I'm practicing like how my ideal work week will look like when I am also fully self-sustained financially. And I think the best way to do that is to be intentional even when I don't have to be that strict. But like, okay, how does that feel? How much more do you want to do? Um, and so far that has been working really well, uh, organizing my time. And I think the girl I used to be like six years ago, I remember when I finished university, um, and having to organize my time in my day, I remember just really feeling like that was so hard for me. Like once I finished school and I didn't have anybody telling me what to do, I didn't have any deadlines, any assignment. And I had dreams that I wanted to accomplish for myself. Like I, I didn't show up. I couldn't show up for the longest time because I didn't know how to self-motivate myself without any external deadline or pressure or expectations. And now I'm not that person anymore. Like I show up for my stuff most of the time. Um, I show up for the routines I make. I show up for the desires I have. And I'm also good when I don't meet it exactly. Because before I think I went from a, I can't do it till I have to do everything. And now I have like a better inner connection with how much is good enough and what to do if today I don't meet all the things, what do I do tomorrow? If I mean nothing at all for the week, what do I do next week? Like to build on instead of feeling like it's either straight and quick and fast or nothing at all. I love that. I love that for us. Um, <laughs> so that makes me very proud and it feels like, okay, with that way of being and continuing to create, I know that things are building in the right direction. But I do look forward to getting to the other side of this particular thing because I think this is like my last, not my last, like hopefully I live a long life, but this is like a big part of the components. Like I had to work on myself. Like I spent many years on just me, myself, my self-healing, my mental, my mind. And then I had to work on my relationships, my romantic relationships, my family relationship, codependency. And I think like this element of financial um, health is my next big thing. And because I have maybe the other three things, I know that I can do it. But I also feel like it's the scariest because it doesn't feel as intuitive as all the other two did. Um, but as long as I show up, I think I'll get somewhere somehow, someday. So and so far I am like I have little things that are bringing in money and I look forward to getting to the side where I feel like oh wow now I feel like I've mastered this house in my life as well the house of of finance or energy or livelihood you know whatever the energy that controls that is I look forward to that but I think yes it is the one that I feel is the biggest, the most challenging in a way. So what I'm saying is it's not easy always to like make your dreams come true or to follow your dreams. And I think what keeps me going, like what I come back to, like maybe like in the darkest of moments where I'm like, it's like I have no option because it's also what sustains my spirit to keep dreaming that that is possible and to keep feeling like I can I can do the things I love. And also I have this feeling that my dreams are not expensive. <laughs> like people out here dreaming to be billionaires and multi-millionaires. And I'm like, 
I just want to be really good and really comfortable and able to do the things I love and go the places I want to go. And that doesn't need a lot of money. I know it doesn't. I know it doesn't. So, of course it's possible. Of course. <laughs> you better grab the best of your life. And I know you're ready to get old. Dancing there in the street lights, and do.